What's up, what's up, what's up? And welcome to another episode of The Savory Show. We are excited to be here yet again. This is actually the first time we are live from Zoom. Y'all see our faces? First time we'll be adding this to the YouTube page. We appreciate you guys tuning in, however you're listening or watching this time. Um, but it, once again, it's your boy and your co-host, Avery Floyd. It's your boy and co-host, Sterling Littlejohn. Yes, sir. So we got a really special episode for y'all, man, for a multitude of reasons. Um, so with number one, man, we got some special guests, man, in the building. And you guys been tuning into us for a little while now. You guys know that we actually had a guest episode on their show. So our guest tonight, we got the 336 Pull Up Podcast in the building. Rep the 336 down in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, these some good brothers, man. Um, we got to go on their show a few months back. We got into the NFL talk, got into NCAA and then COVID and everything like that. Uh, so we had to bring them back on our show, man. So when they had dropped the episode, it was called the Savory 336. So this is Savory 336 2.0, man. So we take it up. <laughs> it's a new edition. It's the next level. That's what's up. Yes, sir. That's what's up. So, uh, without further ado, man, we want to introduce our guest, man. We got, um, Let's see, we got Frank Styles, we got Stevie Kicks, and Jay Nice in the building. So, fellas, um, we'll turn it over to you just to introduce yourselves to our audience, give your name, and, you know, talk about your podcast, how you guys came up with your show. Uh, I guess I guess they're going to look at me to start off. Start off I was so. about to say, you go ahead. And, <laughs> I know them uh, two ain't going to go. <laughs> this is Stevie Kicks, but we gonna, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Everything else is about to be him. Uh, I'm Frank Styles. I'm the creator of the 336 Pull-Up Podcast, and um, these are these are my boys. And, uh, you know, we're out of Greensboro, North Carolina, like you said, and the 336 represents Greensboro. So if you ever tune into our show, you'll hear us, uh, like the intro, talk about Aggie City. That's home of uh, North Carolina A&T, where we are. Uh, number one HBCU in the nation. Aggie Pride. <laughs> Jay Nice is also an alum of uh, of uh, of North Carolina A and T. But our podcast basically is, uh, you know, we like to have fun. We have serious subjects sometimes when it's time to be serious. But a lot of times we 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 just, you know, giving people news, giving people insight on different topics and things. But um, you know, giving our own spin to it. And, you know, you might get a joke or two in there as well. Or several. <laughs> uh, it always depending on, you know, the situation before yeah. the show. Yeah, definitely <laughs> depending on the topic, you know what I mean? But that's on. That's another show. This is yeah. sports. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. This is definitely sports, <laughs> man. Uh, introduce, man. You just... Yeah, this is Stevie Kicks. Um, but like like he just said, you know, this is something he started, you know? And um, he asked me if I wanted to have anything to do with it. I said, yeah. <laughs> And I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Can I say hell? You, I think hell is okay. I said it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're not going to say anything else because we're not on our show. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah we ain't on our show. We're not on our show, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, so um, I got to try to use my, all my E's and R's. There you go. All right. That's gonna, it's going to be real hard. It's going to be a long I mean, It's going to be a long show. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, nice. Go ahead, nice, man. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on, fellas, man? This is my, this your dude, Jay Nice. You know, just like uh, Stevie Kicks and Frank uh, Frank Styles was talking about. You know, he didn't want to create this, man. And, you know, I was supposed to be one of the main, you know, uh, co-hosts on this show. But I've been in and out. You know what I mean? But 2021 is coming around. And, yo, you might see a change. You never know. Hey. I don't know about Maine. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stretch. I, I, I said, man, I'm just playing. I, I said, I'm just playing. Man, man, cold, man, cold. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> these two is crazy. See, it don't hey, change, but, man. No matter if we on our show or we on somebody else's show, it's the same thing all the time, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> and absolutely. And guess what? We appreciate that, man. We're obviously we're we're fans, friends of the show. Um, we absolutely. found you guys out through uh, the Black Pot Collective. Shout out to Black Pot Collective one time, and um, that's actually how we found y'all. Yeah. And we, you know, yeah. we're looking at different podcasts, but y'all podcast stood out to us because, like you said, you keep it real, you have fun, you crack jokes, and um, we love it, man. So we we're obviously blessed to put that uh, collaboration together and then coming back appreciate on our it. end now, too, man. So uh, we appreciate again, it, man. We appreciate yeah, it, man. Y'all yes, check sir. us out, man. We appreciate that. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, all right, bro, Sterling, let, let's get into it, man. So um, at the time of this recording, man, it's this Thursday, January 28th. Um, we're still about a week out and so of uh, the Super Bowl, man. Super Bowl 55. 
We have the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, you know, my homeboy, Big Red and the crew against Tom Brady, you know, Tampa Bay and those Buccaneers, bro. So, uh, you know, we uh, we both had the Chiefs getting there to the big game. Um, but then we both had the Packers. Um, they obviously let us down. Uh, well, you know, Aaron let us down. The coach let him down. But, um, yeah. but hey, we discussed it last episode. At this point, I feel like it didn't really matter who made the Super Bowl. We're going to have a good matchup. And, of course, you got my homeboy who people are saying is the best in the game right now. Brady, obviously, is the undisputed GOAT, greatest of all time in the sport of football. This man is playing his 10th Super Bowl, bro, with a record of 6-3. and three. All right, he's not he's not three and six like Braun, right? He's six and three, so it's a different. <laughs> it's a di- <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's a, that's it's, right. A, it's, a di- it's a different level, man, of being a ten. Oh you know God. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, hey, you know, we, 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 we don't get in, we gonna get in the NBA a little bit later, but you know, you just have to throw that out there. So, man, bro, Sterling. So I'm I'm gonna let you you kick it off first, bro. We got. Uh, I think the line right now is three or three and a half. Vegas has it. The Chiefs winning by three. Um, mm. Everyone I've been asking, man, social media, Twitter, Instagram, all over, everybody, it's like almost neck and neck, 50-50 or 51-49. Some got the Chiefs, some got the Bucks. Um, we know they played earlier in the year, too, in Tampa. And uh, mm. Kansas City edged them out 27-24. Fellas, I'm sure you probably saw the game, saw the highlights. Oh, yeah. And um, yes, It was a good game. Kansas City mm-hmm. got up on them early. But uh, we know Tom Brady, you know, got that comeback coming late, just came up short. So, bro, Sterling, I'm going to let you kick it first, bro. And uh, what what's your outlook on this game, bro, for Super Bowl 55? Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, you know, you kind of just mentioned it with uh, Tom Brady, you know, being, you know, going in six and three. You know, Chiefs have opportunity to go back to back, you know, be Super Bowl champions. Um, I think it's interesting that, you know, this is the first time that, you know, a home team is actually going to host the Super Bowl. So I think that's an interesting, you know, thing that's going to take place as well. Uh, overall, I think it's going to be a good matchup. Um, I mean, I'm going to say my prediction now, even though I'm a big <laughs> time Brady fan. Out? Okay, go ahead with I'm it. I'm going to let it out. I'm a, I'm a big time Brady fan, but I think the Chiefs going to take him out, though. I think it's going to be a good game. But I just think that Patrick Mahomes and the ability, you know, the things that he can do and that offense with Tyreek Hill and Kelsey and the Chiefs have a very good defense as well. I just think that the Chiefs defense will probably cause more turnovers, in my opinion, against Tom Brady than the Buccaneers Ooh. defense will against Patrick Mahomes. I think Patrick Mahomes, as you've seen, you know, we, you know, I forget which, which uh, game it was throughout the season, but when they played early in the year, Patrick Mahomes literally dissect their defense. He knew exactly what to do. And I think, you know, this time around, he's going to do the same. Even though I think they'll play better defensively, I just think Patrick Mahomes is going to find a way to beat him. And I think it's that time where it's going to be the change of the guard, where it's going to be this the new king in town. You know, this is the best player in the NFL right now. And I think that's what we're about to witness, you know, come next Sunday. So, mm-hmm. so you before, guys three, three, six. Oh, I, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Fellas. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen, before boy, before I kick it to y'all, I gotta I need y'all Sterling's slick. Okay. Now <laughs> last week, this man picked Aaron. Hold on, hold on. He, picked, he picked Green Bay to win, right? He said, you know, Aaron, uh-huh. this is Aaron's turn. He needs it more than Tom, blah, yeah. blah, blah. He does this because he really wants Tom to get seven. So you know that reverse psychology. Uh-huh. You see Skip Bayless do this all the time. I do. That's exactly what he's doing. Mm-hmm. So don't he's saying he wants the Chiefs to win, but he really wants <laughs> the Buccaneers. Now Real quick, oh. fellas, before we let y'all, y'all, let no, y'all have it, look, well, I, I should pick the Buccaneers because I want the Chiefs to win, but I'm not going to go by your, your methodology, all right? I'm going with the <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs because, again, my homeboy, look, man, I don't even care if they played or not. I just feel that we've seen, fellas, it doesn't matter if he's down 10, he's da- he was down to Buffalo by nine, he was down the last year 24 nothing to the Houston Texans. I don't care what the score is. I believe in my homeboy in the postseason. Um, Brady, look, even though they won last week, he threw three really bad picks, like really bad. And mm-hmm. honestly, Green Bay's defense is not that good. Kansas City's defense, I believe they're opportunistic. I don't think they're good, but they can capitalize when Kansas City has a lead, right? So if Kansas City gets up 7 nothing, 10 nothing, 14 nothing, right? And Brady's stationary. They were chasing all over Josh Allen last week, trying to get him down. 
Brady is mm. a sitting duck. So they, you, if you get to him, that's good. We've seen the formula, right? We've seen him Gotta against get the Giants. To him, exactly. Um, Got to get to him. Exactly. But with that being said, I'm, I'm keeping it real. I want the Chiefs to win. I'm picking the Chiefs. My boy over here wants Brady to get seven. He's picking the Chiefs. So it's going to look better when Tom Brady overcomes the, the, the great Mahomes, Andy Reid, and that squad over there. So I just want to put that and out you there for the fans. How much of a hater you are, too. Tell how much of a Tom Brady <laughs> hater you are. You want to sit up here and try to do that on me? No, you a hater. <laughs> hey, look, 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 hold on now. I, I, listen, my hate goes back to the, the New England Patriots. Tom Brady with the Bucks, I could care less for the brother, but I still acknowledge he's the GOAT. I can't run from that, right? He's a GOAT, man. But look, man, I, I, my homeboy is going to get it done. I need him to get it done because if Brady wins, I'm never going to hear the end of it, as y'all can tell. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, fellas, so we, we want to hear from y'all, man. I know y'all be talking sports as well. I know y'all gave a good breakdown of the of the NFC and AFC championship games on the last episode. So let, let's see what y'all got on about the Super Bowl, man. Let's well, start with Stevie. Go man, ahead, Stevie. listen, man. Stevie's a Buffalo Bills fan by chance, by the way, guys. So y'all, y- if y'all don't remember, that game, first, first my of condolences, all, Stevie. My condolences. <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. Okay. The, the thing that bothers me, okay, out of all this, right? All right, AB sat out like a whole year. I think he slapped the Caucasian lady. <laughs> I think he done slapped his driver. Yeah, he became a rapper. I think he was a stripper part time, <laughs> and he in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's facts. Absolutely. How is AB in the Super Bowl? That's facts, man. That is weird when you, you know think what I'm about saying? it. If you think about okay. where he was at last year and where he, he is, is now, now, that is kind of weird, bro. I guess you're doing yeah. good. But then again, it was 2020, so. I mean, but my, yeah, <laughs> it could have been crazier. Yeah. 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 But my boys is like. They why my homes do my boys like that? Oh, Buffalo. They did. They mm. they 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 sweetened it up with the turf toe. Uh, his <laughs> head, he dizzy. I think he's still dizzy in the back. He wasn't dizzy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got beat by three people, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three people. Uh, Cheetah. Hmm. Um. Justin Timberlake. And. Uh, <laughs> Stupid. My home. <laughs> you're, you're so stupid, bro. You said Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Kelsey, oh, we know. I know what you're talking about. about. You're talking yeah. about Kelsey. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah we he know. was. Man. They were threat, man. Smooth, that first, yeah. first, that first series. That's all you saw was Kelsey. I, I was like, Jesus, can anybody cover Kelsey? I nope. guess not. I was uncomfortable the whole game. Yeah, yeah I mean, he almost mm. had double digit receptions oh, in the first oh, half. Good, mm. Stevie, first bro. I, I gotta hear from you though, because y'all was up nine nothing, right? So you you probably feel pretty good. Yeah. Y'all but at nine, nine, nine listen, zip. at, at nine nothing, I was thinking about, damn, I wonder where they're gonna have a parade at in downtown Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because all year, like we get a lead, we don't let it go. Mm-hmm. 12, we like we won like 11 games straight, something like that. Nine, whatever it was. But if we get a lead, we don't let it go. You know what I'm saying? If it's five points, seven points, it don't matter. So but once they scored, how easy they scored, they made it look so easy. I said, this is going to be a long game. I went, in the, I went in the Bills Mafia chat. I'm like, it's going to be a long game, y'all. they like, you're right. I'm like, I know I know, I'm right. You watching this shit too? I mean, you watching it too. <laughs> we, we, it was terrible, you know, but we, we didn't run anything that we ran all year. If they would have played the same defense, ran that same offense, they dropping the safeties back because you're scared to get beat, but you're still getting beat. You know what I'm saying? They're killing you underneath. You got both safeties playing like 15 yards back, and they just dumping it down underneath. And then when they dump it down to the, to the cheetah, and then cheetah, and, and you gone. right there, he's gone. You Yo, know what I mean? he's out. You they dump it down. You right there. You still can't get a hand. Still can't on. make a tackle. Well, I can tell you what I saw during that game when I was watching it. I'm like, okay, Buffalo has to stop the run because that's where the that's the, been the Achilles heel for them this season. So if they stop the run they'll be okay. That's and, what that's what they, and that's what they did. So if you look at the first couple of series of Kansas City out there, they're trying to run the ball. But Kansas City made adjustments. Kansas City's like, okay, they're sitting these linebackers here to stop the run. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get it to the cheetah. Exactly. And that's why you started seeing more of those uh, trickery-type plays mm-hmm. where he's coming off in motion and just whoosh, taking off on the thing. Because if he gets the edge, it's a wrap. It's going to be, a, you know, he's going to get, you know, most guys hit the edge. They'll get maybe, you know, 
five, 10 yards off of that, but not him. He's going to get 10, 20 yards. He caught the ball. He, he caught the ball and had like three yards until he was out of bounds. Yep. He cut it up the field so fast. Yep. Poyer couldn't even turn his hips. Yep. I yep. was like, geez. Like, I'm like, it's over. Yep. It's over. I don't know what he had for breakfast, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, cheetah juice. He had cheetah juice. You gonna so, call it cheetah juice. So who you who you got in the in the bowl? Do you got you got Brady? Brady and them boys, or do you got uh... I got Brady. Okay. I got the goat. Okay. I could call him the goat now because he ain't with New England. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's hey, that's a valid point. Thank you. Mm. But I got the go point. for 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 many reasons. Number one, this is the tenth time there. So well, who other who who else would know? You know more about uh, strategy and like situation, Pre preparation, football preparation. See, this a big game. Mm, you got the word game. He filling the gaps for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have brain farts sometimes. He filling them in for me. But um, who knows? Who knows better? But Brady. You feel me? Um, Mahomes, he's been there once. He's won one. Yeah, you know, but it wasn't against the GOAT. That's different, you know? That's like a dance battle, you know? Chris Brown versus Chris Brown. No, Chris Brown. <laughs> Rest in peace, Michael Jackson. But, like, you say you're the best. Like, I'm the best. But Michael actually, actually come out, and you like, damn, you really want me to show you the moonwalk? Right. I can't do it. Like, not, not, not like you. It's the GOAT. I got you know you. what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. you. Different. And he gonna he gonna fold. Mahomes gonna fold. <laughs> okay. All right, so Stevie, Stevie got Brady. I got you. I so Stevie got Brady. I got Brady. Style. Who, who Long story really short. Now? Huh? Who do you have? Brady or the comeback kid. Here's the deal, bro. Not really paying uh, attention to Kansas City as much as people did last year to hype around them and stuff. I really didn't pay attention to them too much. But this year I really, you know, had an opportunity to watch them. Mm -hmm. It's an explosive team. They can they can explode at on any time. I haven't seen one team, you know, stop them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like three and outs, three and outs. No, they're going to score. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, my my the big thing, not taking anything away from Tom Brady. Tom Brady's the GOAT. But if they set up the right defense and pressure him, it's a wrap. Cause all you because you know every time he's dropping back. He's not, mo he's not rolling left. He's not rolling right. So you got to come up with a defense. You're not going to confuse him. He's probably seen every single defense ever. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to confuse him. However, what you're going to have to do is pressure him and pressure him again. And when you get tired, you're going to have to pressure him some yeah. more. You're going to have to continuously yeah. pressure him and send linebackers because he'll see it, but it's it's what, you know, what is his lineman going to do? And he's dead you know what I mean? How are they going to adjust? So if, I'm, if it's dead. me, if it's me, I'm looking at some of his weaknesses. I'm looking at, you know, how he's gotten sacked. I'm, I would go back and look at uh, those Giants games um, mm -hmm. when they had that that great defense back in 2007. I'd look at that. I'd look at, uh, I'd look at what they did, um, even though they won it when they played um, against Atlanta. I'd go back and see how Atlanta shut them down that those first couple of series when he was with the Patriots. So um, I'm going to go with uh, the chiefs. I think the chiefs are, there we go. Although they're, although they are in Tampa Bay and they're playing at home, I think Kansas city wants to take, don't, they, they don't want to see Brady get that seventh ring because we know he's going to go. And I think Mahomes is like, yo, it's my turn. It's, it's my yes. time. Uh, pops, pops, yes, you've been sir. here long enough, taking all the spotlight <laughs> from all these other teams. Buffalo, you held Buffalo, kept Buffalo Man. from being anything. I don't think you can call him Pops. You, know, for you gotta call years. him Granddad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, <laughs> you gotta call him Pow Pow. I think, I Something think, like that. Pow, yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think I think he wants to send him home, man. I think he wants <laughs> to send him home I, because if it was me, I would. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Oh, and I think that, in my opinion, there's more talent. Well, AB's great. But here's my problem with Tampa Bay. I don't like their offense. I, I don't. I don't like the offense because you know they're throwing it. There's no play action. It's down the field. That's why you don't like it because it's time. You can't do much with him. You know, you it's, can't, it's. You can't do. Listen, listen. I played these fools last night in Madden, right? At Green Bay, right? All he did was throw the ball, and then in the third <laughs> quarter, I swear he ran the ball like one time. You're not gonna. And get, that was in Madden. You you ain't gonna get no RPOs. Like, <laughs> I was like, no, yo. No. I was like, yo. So he started throwing it to AB, right? Just showing out on me. It's like 14 nothing. I was like, okay, all right. So what's the Green Bay's receiver? Big big boy. 
Devontae. I said, let me go ahead and let Devontae, Devontae just run this nine yeah. route. <laughs> I threw a Devontae touchdown. I was like, you he ain't the only one that can run the nine, buddy. Yeah. But um, but then they just, you know, Madden cheats and he just yeah. continued to beat me. So I just stopped <laughs> the game and hung up. No, I, like, I quit. Hey, no, bro. <laughs> I was like, I quit, bro. No. So I'm going with um uh, with all that being said, I'm I'm gonna go with Kansas City, man. I think they're I think they traditionally, when you look at it, A B can be stopped. Um, Gronk can be stopped. You can take Gronk out of the game. And I think that they, I think that Kansas city has, has the better team on the offense because I don't think they can keep up. They're fast, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like they, I, they're definitely a fast paced offense. They're a fast paced offense and Brady's not going to be able to shoot it out back and forth with him. I just don't believe that. I just don't think it's going to happen. You just, but you, they got to play D they got to show up to play D. Don't worry about offense. What you need to worry about is defense and pressure him and pressure him and pressure him and pressure him some more. I don't care if you're up. I don't care if you're down by three. You got to keep going and make him uncomfortable, period. Mm. Absolutely. And I appreciate mm. your insight, fellas. So uh, nice. a few Thanks. points, Frank, I didn't want to cut you off. When you talk about that defense and that pressure, right? So the Chiefs defensive coordinator, Steve Spagnolo, he was the one man in that defense back in 07, right? With straight yes, hand, Justin Tuck and yes, the boys. Sir. So he's, like you said, he going back in the film room, watching the tapes, and you know he's going to develop some, uh, look, like you said, Brady's seen it all, but at the end of the day, you just got to get there. You got to yeah. – and, and believe it or not, I believe Tampa's actually better without A.B. because that little, the little white boy, Scotty Miller – Little Scotty Miller. He said he's actually he he little Scotty Miller. Bro, Scotty, in, his he in his mind, he is. In his mind, he is. He said he faster than Cheetah. Yeah. He's tri yeah. he tripping. Man. That's what he said. Man. Come on, man. Scotty, hey, man, you know what? Don't shoot, don't shoot the message. Scotty. <laughs> hey, fella, but guess what? I like that he said that because you know what? Another thing, and I'm not going to go off on a tangent, but I remember back when I was in grade school. You know, one of my favorite teams was playing the Patriots in about 2004. And they had a player by the name of Freddie Mitchell, okay? Freddie oh, Mitchell oh. Was, was was yapping at the jaws, right, talking about New England. Not the right? people's champ. Yeah, the, yeah, the people's yeah. champ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and guess what? And guess what? He he was he was chomping his mouth, right? And then Patriots like, okay, oh, oh, we got you. Good. And then, obviously, we saw what happened in the Super Bowl. I'm actually glad that Scotty Miller's talking. Go ahead, you fa yeah. Go go think you faster than Cheetah. Cheetah, like okay, cool. Bet I got mm -hmm. you. Watch mm -hmm. watch what I do on Sunday. So I'm mm -hmm. glad actually that Tampa players are starting to talk. I want them to keep talking. That's because they got the goat. Hey, yeah, but still, that's because you got the goat. Now, though, you gonna how talk. many times? How many times when Brady was in New England did that? Did their team talk trash about the opponent in a big game? Never. I don't think we've ever Never. seen it. Yo, Bill that's Never. what I'm saying Never. though. That's what I'm Never. saying. Never. Yeah. But we but so, we seen them down. We didn't see them down and we seen them come back. They better be when? they better be glad I ain't no superstar on again Kansas City. Because I'd be talking so much trash. I'd be like, I'd be like, man, listen, where was y'all at last season? Without, without yeah. Brady, y'all are nothing. Right. Nothing. Exactly. If they don't get to Brady, it's over. It's You're a nothing. Rat, point that's, blank. And that's what I'm about to say. You know what I mean? You got a dominant front forward order to get yeah. Brady. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't get to Brady, he's going to pick over. you guys apart. Even if they even try to get to Brady or even if they do get to Brady, you know what I mean? What he's going to end up doing is just dicking and dunking, you know, yeah. just marching down the field. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, you know, they're going to have RJ2 back, which is Ronald Jones the second. He's going to be back. Yes, and sir. then Leonard Fournette's going to be back as well. So, therefore, they got to run a game, you know, and they're going to implement that. But at the same time, you know, like I said, you got to have a dominant front four. They have to. The, they the, they the, have to they commit bust. to the run, though. That's the thing. If they go, yeah. if they are going to commit, and they should, like you said, keep a homeboy off the field, get a sleeping. long, consistent right. drive, and go let down the field. You. But I don't know. I don't, let me tell you. Let me tell you how much y'all sleeping. Okay. First of all, you got Ro Jones. All right, mm -hmm. running the damn ball back there. He ain't played the whole playoffs. All right, so he healthy and he ready to go. Leonard Fournette. So they got a running game and he been doing it all damn year. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so so that's out. that. So if 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 you wanna if you wanna keep rushing, if you're gonna rush, if you're gonna blitz the linebackers, you're gonna, you know, edge rushers, blah, blah, blah. You can do that. You're gonna shoot them right up the gut. Or they're gonna dink and dunk. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like Ben, it's kind of like Pittsburgh was doing uh with Ben. But uh, I also wanted to say, you're not no one's giving enough credit to uh the Bucks defense. I was about to say that. You know what I'm saying? And they, they be showing up, week. man. 
they played last week without a well, couple people. Well, that's why people, they won the game. A couple I mean, that's people, why they won last week. And, and they did that without Antoine Winf- Winfield Jr. Yeah, because yeah. Tampa, because Tom They were missing Tom two had, safeties throughout the game. Two of their stars. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. yeah, so. Exactly. So, <laughs> next week, everyone, I'm not going to say everybody's going to be full strength. No one's totally healthy nah. this time of the year. No, not right now. You know, now. but like, as far as on paper, I think everybody will be back and it's going to be a totally different game. Than what you seen last week? Yeah. Well, well I think there'll be a more, Jason Pierre Paul. Like, come on, man, don't get me. I ain't gonna take under JPP. Don't, don't JPP don't definitely on, played, man. but what I'm saying is, Tom's got to show up. But now, mm-hmm. the defense won that game for them last week. Oh, he's you look at the first half. Look at the yeah. first half of the game and how he played. He played well. They then adjusted, right? And and Green Bay got back in the game. So. Tom turned the ball over. As a matter of fact, this is the most I've seen him turn the ball over all year, all season. Hey, so my he's point doing is, doing more this year than most though, because he's taking my them one thing that you just field. said is, t- is yeah. Tom got to show up. When has Tom ever not shown? Oh uh, well, if I'm you go back to the, you you go back to the beginning Last of the season. Year. No, no, we talking about too. Super Bowl. We talking no, no, no. We talking about when it counts. We talking about Super Bowl. We talking about Super Bowl. We ain't talking about eight. Hey. Philly. No, we talking about when it counts. Hey, he, 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 is, guy, he is six and three Philly. now. He ain't nine and no. You dig? Philly. I mean, I mean oh, you, hold, hold, hold on. I'm just saying. Hold on. You, just hold, on. Hold, on. Hold, on. hold on. Hold on. You want to put them three just, on him? You just asked, when did he not show up? And I said, Philly, you ain't say nothing. Well, hey, that's uh, my squad, too. You know it. Fit, that's often that he they, tried to catch. They handed, they handed, they handed, tried they, to yo. catch a damn pass. Tom, okay, no, okay. Going well. he run All right. a, Tom run an uh, eight two trying to catch a pass. What is that, he doing? That would be eight the time two. where his hands didn't <laughs> show up. His hands didn't show up. <laughs> Tom run like I don't an know trying to catch a what pass. What Josh McDaniels was thinking about calling that damn play. Oh, no, I mean, but, but yeah, yeah. But um, on seriously though, it, it's going to be a good game. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be yeah, definitely be a good game. So we're going to see. Absolutely. It's going to be high scoring. And it, yes. it, it, it got to be high scoring because if uh, – You if, know what, y'all? It's, it's going to be it's going to be like that Philly, that Philly New England Super Bowl. They were going back and yeah. forth, back and forth. It's mm-hmm. going to be a track meet. Yeah. yeah. And one, yeah. one last thing, because I want, I want my bro Sterling to get back on before we, uh, we transition. Like you said, when Brady threw those three interceptions, if I'm not mistaken, Green Bay only got like three points. Yeah. I bet yeah. you this. Yeah. If, yeah. If, Patrick, if Patrick Mahomes is, is the quarterback, you think they only gonna get three points off of three no. interceptions? No, no. And, gonna turn and that into seven. They could have went. It was fourth down. Listen. They could have went for it, but they chose not to go uh, on mm-hmm. that one play. Mm-hmm. Then they kicked. They went ahead and kicked the field goal. It was like fourth sure. and one. It was meaningless. Was like, meaningless. You need to go for that. What are you doing? What are we gonna do with these three? You st- that's not gonna put you back in the game. But that's how I felt L- when, when, low, when low when key Tommy Thurman went for it. Fourth and one on like the seven <laughs> in the playoffs against Patrick Mahomes. Let me kick a field. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we, we saw our three. We feel your pain, bro. All of us, all of our teams <laughs> fell short <laughs> this know, year. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, man. But uh, so, bro, I'm, I'm gonna kick it to Sterling real quick, man. I'm gonna let you uh, close this out, bro. All right. Yeah. So pretty much, I just think that Kansas City is just gonna. I just think it's gonna pull it out overall. I just think, like you said, like Patrick Mahomes. I just think, like you said, uh, the offense is just too explosive. And I just think that's just going to be hard for Tampa Bay to recover from. I just think Tampa Bay, they might they might not make a lot of mistakes, but they're going to make a crucial mistake that cost them the game, in my opinion. And mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes is going to capitalize off of it, in my opinion. That's what I think is going to mm-hmm. happen. Mm. Oh, I just hate the fact that we're talking about this dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> How come we weren't talking about Eli like this? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, he, oh, he, oh, went to, oh, he went to pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. No, no, no. He he went to no, no. no. Listen, pump the brakes. Hey, man, don't get. I'm just saying. If we go, if we, oh. if we name goats and we giving them the torch, just yeah, to go to two no. bowls. Yeah, but um, listen, Eli. I'm a I'm, I'm a Giants fan, and Eli's Eli's my guy. But I I would never. Uh, give him that I'm crown. just no. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, I'm just yeah, talking, yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah. it's just like I don't. I'm just saying he's not. I mean, he's the, the goat. goat. He's the goat over Tom. You know, I mean, he is. That yeah, is. He owns Tom in Super Bowls. <laughs> <laughs> He does. <laughs> and he does. Uh, you know what's funny? Y'all mentioned that. You know what's funny though? I read something that um Eli said uh the other day. He was like. Tom deserves to be in the Super Bowl. You know, he, you know, he's worked all the, you know, hard all this time. He goes, but he's so passionate about the game and he wants to, you know, he, he knows how good he is, but he wants to be so great. He said that when he says, I never mentioned anything about those Super Bowls when they, when they see each other, 
He said, I never mentioned anything about the Super Bowls. He always brings it up. He said, yeah, he right. always brings it up. He said, so that's a competitor. That's that whole Tiger Woods, Jordan mentality. Yep. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, this dude's 43. Yeah. yeah. He's 43. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm great. not giving no ages or nothing like that. Can you imagine one of you out there playing quarterback right now? Man, I, 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 can't, <laughs> I can't see Bro. that, man. That's crazy. Come on, that. man. And, and quick question to y'all. Mm-hmm. What what is this? If, if Tom Brady wins this championship, what does it do for him? Obviously, we know he's the goat, but does it put him in a different, you know, stratosphere? Does it put him in that Michael Jordan class, Tiger Woods? Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, oh yeah, that's, absolutely. That's Michael Jordan. That's, that's what I think. Uh, you're going to talk about Serena him. Williams. Yeah, you're going to talk about that. You know, the same way that we talk about Jordan, and you get the yeah. debate between him and LeBron, and and this and that. I mean, it's yeah. going to be the same thing ten years from now. I mean, Terry Bradshaw was the GOAT during his time, but look how that faded out. You know what I mean? Yeah. That might be because he's on TV now. I don't know, but... Um, Not because Joe Montana took over. You know, yeah. Joe Montana came in, but people mm-hmm. still refer to Joe as the GOAT. Before Tom won all of his, people were always saying did, Joe though. was the GOAT. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so now, they so did. now, if he wins this seven Super Bowls, bro... That's hot. That if he wins this, I'd retire. Nobody's right gonna that, catch like, him ever. <laughs> nobody will ever not. catch him. Nope. Ever. Ever. Ain't, nobody gonna, ain't nobody doing ten no more. No, bro. No, no, <laughs> that's no. ridiculous. Not at all. It's hard to get into one. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. So I remember when this dude. I was in Boston when he started balling like this. Man. Yeah. I remember yeah. this. I was in. Dang, I was like a sophomore or junior in high school. And this dude is. I'm a grown ass man now with kids. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is still playing still in Super Bowls, bro. Dan Marino played for a while, too, though. I mean, Yo. Dan was around for a while. Never won a Super Bowl, that but he, he was around that for a while. That sucked. That, that hurt. Yo, do you guys remember Tom Brady in the combine, NFL combine? Yeah. yeah we we all remember that picture. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> he looked terrible, right? <laughs> with the shirt off. <laughs> oh, man, he looked bad. Yo, he Slow. Was horrible, man. You would have told me he like was going to be the GOAT. 40? Yeah. You, know I mean? you, you can never imagine that he was going to be the six goal. round so pick, a six round mm. pick mm, mm, out of mm. Michigan. Crazy. Wow, I'm going to go for seven. Yes, man. Hey, the well, fellas, so as we as we wrap up this segment here, just just for the record, so we got yours truly. I got the Chiefs. Sterling's yep. got the Chiefs, even though he's hedging his bet. Uh, Stevie <laughs> kicks. <laughs> he's rolling with Brady and the Bucks. Uh, oh, my yeah. man Frank, he's rolling with the Chiefs, like you know, the two smart men in the group. I get it. <laughs> and then uh Jay Nice is also rolling with Brady. So we got three for Brady and two for Mahomes. We, we, of course, we're gonna circle back later, fellas. We're we gonna circle back. Oh, yeah. I, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. You'll Absolutely. hear about it on our episode. You'll hear about it. Oh, yes, about it on episode after the, uh, you'll hear All about right. it. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, so the next topic we're going to talk about centers around basketball. You know, we're all excited about the NBA season is back. Um, but this topic is going to be kind of more fun, a little bit more different. So as we all know, you know, basketball players, you know, want to be like rappers. Rappers want to be like basketball players. You know, heck, you know, you know, rappers talk about basketball players in their music all the time. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. you know, the topic that we're going to do is, you know, correlation between, you know, what basketball player is similar to this rapper and vice versa? You know, of all time greats. And that's what we're gonna do. So, so for example, like like the first one, yeah, yeah. So the first one I'm gonna dish out to y'all is, you know, the one I personally think is Michael Jordan and Jay-Z. And the reason I think that is because obviously, you know, the success that Michael Jack excuse me, Michael Jordan has had as a basketball player, but more so the success he has had outside of basketball, you know, the brand that he has created. You know, basketball is global in due part because of Michael Jordan. He enhanced the game. And all the players that came after him are a product of what he created. Same thing kind of feel like about Jay-Z. You know, he came into the game. You know, obviously he learned, you know, a lot from like Notorious B.I.G., things like that, you know, other rappers along the way. But he kind of enhanced it and, you know, did his own thing as far as Rockefeller, you know, having, you know, record label and then also his own, you know, um, clothing line with, Rock, you know, Rockefeller as well. So it's like, you know, he kind of enhanced the thinking of how rappers think now as far as, hey, I want to enhance my brand as well. So what do you guys think? Or if you guys want to talk about some, you know, rappers and athletes that you guys think, I mean, rappers and basketball players, excuse me. Can we do singers too? 
singers. Can you, can you compare singers? Because you know, singers, you know, it's baller singers too. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm cool with that. You, you okay. right though. Yeah. yeah. yeah come okay. on. I got that's you. Little, I got you. I like that though. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Let's do it. Because my man Victor Olandipo got some bangers out there right now. <laughs> I would compare him to Neo. Oh. <laughs> you said Neo. <laughs> Neo. Hey, oh my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. When he said singers, I thought he was going to bring up a great like Marvin yeah. Gaye or something. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, when, when, I, I, Ola, when, he, when he said Victor Oladipo, I was like, yeah. I was oh. like, <laughs> Victor, Victor Oladipo. <laughs> what is he talking about? And Eddie Kane. <laughs> oh, Victor Oladipo. We, we gonna start. Name is six man of the year. Oh, Thanks man. for warmers. Oh, <laughs> Leave it to Stevie Kicks. Victor Olin Depot and Eddie Kane. Come on. Yeah. The, for views the, one time. Steve, the views of Stevie Kicks is those are those of his All right. own. All right. Well, yeah, I love it though. I love it. I love we, don't, it. we don't need my views. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, my can, vision. Um, I like I like that Jay Z. Uh. I like that Jay-Z Jordan comparison. Um, when you look at Jordan's history, when he started, when he first came from Carolina, um, you know, it was a big man's game. You look at all the, you know, all the players that were around him, it was a big man's game. And a lot of people didn't think he was going to be as great as everybody said he was going to be. Um, but he, when he came in, he changed everything all the way from the tight shorts uh, to the style in which you, you know, which you played. Um, and he just kept winning. That you know, that was crazy. Anytime you could take off for a number of years to go play another sport and then come back. And then, you know, obviously you didn't win it that year, you know, but I think they still got to the playoffs, but they didn't, you know, they didn't uh they didn't they didn't go and you know, obviously win, but came back the following year and then win again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like after that. Like that's crazy. And then when you look at Jay, Jay was sort of the same way, like when when Big and Pac and those guys was on their little run, Jay was struggling trying to 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 get someone to sign him. And initially, what a lot of people don't know is that Reasonable Doubt album was supposed to just be like a demo. Mm-hmm. That 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 album was supposed to be a demo and ended up becoming right. a classic. And then he just took off from there. You know, clothing line, um, you know, businesses, um, you know, alcoholic beverages. Uh, starting title, you know, his own music streaming service. I mean, and it just goes on and on. The man is worth a billy. So I definitely like those that that two coalitions um, for those two. But yeah, that's a that's a great comparison. And, and and then when you look at Jordan, people are still buying Jordans, bro. People are still buying Jordans years later. And some of the kids that are buying them never have even seen Michael Jordan play a game. Bro, decades later. You know what I'm saying? So decades. You later. you you can't take anything away from him. The man is the first. Um, black basket NBA owner. I mean, I mean, come on, you know, right here in Charlotte. So it's, well, it's, it's crazy. He sold, he, he, he sold his majority share. So he, what of, uh, of yeah, the Hornets? Of the Hornets yeah, so. yeah. Hey. He like, he like one, uh, he like, he like ushered with the, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. He he may, I don't he know about that one, Stevie. No, yeah. I don't know yeah, about yeah. that one. He got more, he, yeah, he got more than that. So he yeah, he 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 showed, he yeah. sold his state. He didn't buy. Look, he didn't buy ten. He didn't buy ten shares and say, "Hey, oh, no. I'm an owner." You call that man. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie's nah, just we, hating because I Jordan used sure. to smack them Knicks around hey, all Ooh. the time. Bro, see what since, since you want to say that, that is, <laughs> that's what probably be is that's true? Something, a little something to do with. Yeah, see. have a little something to do with. <laughs> I'm gonna go Rick Ross and LeBron James. Okay, I like that. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say Rick Ross and Shaquille O'Neal. That's what I was going to say. No. Nope. Okay. So, so hold on. So, Rick Ross, Rick Ross and LeBron James. Why? All right. I'm going to say Rick Ross and LeBron James for these reasons. Mm -hmm. All right. Just because hard. Okay. Coming up from the ghetto. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, we all got a story. We a lot of us came from the ghetto. A lot of us haven't though, so we can't just put that as stereotype black folks stuff. You know? mm-hmm. We ain't gonna do that. Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna carry that crown no more. All right, but you know, coming up, having to work hard. You know, Ross worked. Uh, uh, what was the car car wash? Yeah. 12, 12 hour shift and all that. You mm-hmm. know, it was coming up tough. Uh, uh, Brian too. Right. 
I don't think he worked though. I think he just played basketball. Yeah, but he still, he, 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 you know, growing up the the, the son the son of a, a a single mom. Yeah, single mom in Ohio. You know, you know what I'm saying? But mainly it's the the business starting the businesses like um, yeah. The man started with like one wing stop, sat and talked to this white man. Now he got like fifty wing stops. Mm -hmm. You know, so sometimes you just gotta listen. Um, LeBron opening the schools. It's just uh, starting uh, creating avenues, different avenues for uh, for black people. For, for black people, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, uh, 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 making other people millionaires, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, giving people chances. He he had an interest. It's funny you say that. I don't know if you guys have checked it out, but he he I've seen him on two runs. He was on uh, I Am Athlete. Uh, he's on the I Am Athlete podcast with Brandon Marshall and those guys. And then he was on uh, Club Shay Shay with Shannon yeah. Sharp. Um, and he just talked about that. He talked about how, you know, he took when he said, I, he said, the only reason I wanted to buy, you know, a wing stop was I just wanted to have my fly girl with me pull up. It's my joint and, and say, I need some wings. lemon pepper wings. You know what it is. <laughs> you feel me? He said, that's the reason why he bought a wing stop. But, no, he, but, but he said what he, what he saw was potential. And so what it allowed him to do was to put his people and his family on. He's got his mom and his sister running it. Mm -hmm. And um, I know he had one. I had read somewhere he had one that was like the lowest of the low. Like it wasn't doing yeah. anything. And he turned that joint around like it's a million dollar store now. So he got checkers too. Yeah. Between that and checkers, he's just doing everything. He's got a medical app. He said, because when he was, uh, when he was, you know, when he had his seizures and he, he was yeah. about mm -hmm. to, he said, I was literally about to die. He goes, he saw everything that was happening with people. People weren't coming to visit anybody or nothing like that. Um, old people, he said, and their kids are up the street and they're not coming to see him. He said, what happened was, he said, I got to do something. He came up with this app. So now it's like 10 bucks a month. Anytime you need a doctor, you just call the app, sort of like the tele, tele doc and stuff that they have, like the companies offer. He's got an app like that uh, for anybody that needs it. Even if you don't have health insurance, you know, you can call a doctor. They can send your prescriptions to whoever. So you have access to some form of health care to try to take care of yourself. You get you can't take anything away from that. That's huge. See? So I told you he like LeBron. That's huge, man. I told you well, that's a good comparison. I, I, yeah. I mean, business, as far as business networking, yeah, absolutely. I, I, absolutely. Whatever. 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 Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I appreciate I, it. I, I've it, never man. heard that comparison, yeah. though, but I appreciate the way you broke it down. Yeah. Yeah. You know, see, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. you know that's why you keep one of these around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I'm like, telling you, man. I'm yeah, telling I, you. I, I like I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. Like how you broke it down. But I, I think for me, I think LeBron reminds me more so of Drake in a sense. Mm, they are friends. And oh man, they are. I mean. Look, here, here's why, though. Like they fellow light-skinned brothers, That's though, what man. I'm saying. It's my one of my fellow <laughs> awful like colored brothers. brothers. All right? You cannot I, compare I just, them. I, I, just, I just think because it's like they both came up in the social media era. And oh, well, compare I to think, uh, DJ Khaled, then. No, no, no. They bigger than DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, DJ Khaled. Another one. <laughs> I'm about to say because Khaled, no. Nah. <laughs> nah. uh, nah. I, yeah, I, I just think the social media era, and I just think that with both men, I just think a lot of their fans too, they kind of, even though LeBron is great, like I think, you know, LeBron's top five all time easy in my opinion. I just mm -hmm. think that a lot of people tend to kind of put like LeBron over other people and forget other greats. And similar to Drake, too, like they kind of forget rappers that kind of came before him. And right. I think right. both of them kind of have that similarity where it's like, you know, everybody's, oh, my God, LeBron, Drake, they're this and this. But it's like, man, it was people before them that handled their business and were just as great. You know, mm -hmm. don't forget about them. And, and, I, and, I, and I think that's where the comparison kind of comes for me. Um, Avery, I know um, you can chime in and let me know what you think about that or who you think LeBron is compared to. You know, I, I agree with LeBron and Drake. And obviously, like, let's just think of the errors they've been successful, right? So, Bron got his first chip, what was it, like 2012, right, I believe? And we, we kind of yeah. think of, like, when Drake had really – I know Drake kind of came out as more like 08, on, really like 09, you know, the um, – with his oh, first mixtape, like yeah, oh eight oh nine, yeah, oh eight oh nine, right? So when they yeah. when they first started really winning, right? It was really from like that. I would say 2012, 2013 on, right? So same with True. Braun. Like when Braun was winning chips, you could look at Drake and the albums he's had. The hits True. just kept 
piling up, piling up, piling up. And I think because of, around the same time, you could look at it like that. Um, so I agree, but I'm actually flip it. So uh, my Sterling convinced me of this because I wasn't sure about this comparison. This is two people. Um, because of the time of the era, too, I could see this comparison. So he was thinking that when, you, when we talk about Pac and Biggie, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Some people think they're the goats, right? <clears throat> think about Pac and Biggie compared to Magic and Bird, right? Mm -hmm. So because yeah. of the errors that they were in, yep. and it was yeah. no, this is before Jay-Z, right? Before um, um, Jordan, excuse me, really. And then it kind of overlapped a little bit. But really, um, it, 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 when you think about when Pac and Biggie came into the game and like rose up to fame and like at the time the rap industry needed someone to really like uplift the industry more so in the mainstream, I guess. And they just came out with those hits, man. It obviously, you know what I'm saying? Their, their lives were taken early. Um, so they couldn't continue and maintain that greatness at a high level. But also we think of magic, magic got AIDS, right? Larry Bird mm -hmm. has some back Whoa. injuries. At Where the end of, end of his career, I'm saying, uh, I'm saying, no, 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 stick with me, stick with me, stick with me, stick with me, bro. To be, to be, to be, hold on, hold on, hold on, to be, stick with me, bro, stick with me for a minute. Listen, nah, you're talking about success? To be politically correct. No, no, stick with me, bro, stick with me. He doesn't, he doesn't have full-blown AIDS, he has HIV. Sorry, HIV, sorry. But listen, hold up, hold up. The reason, the reason I could. We got AIDS. Like, wait, what? <laughs> nah, too. Nah, that, that that's obvious. That's not the successful part. I'm talking about. We talk about how their careers kind of came to a devastating end. I'm saying with Magic. Oh, Magic, there man. we go. Because when Biggie and Tupac yeah. obviously were killed early in their careers, right? We didn't see yeah. them maintain that greatness. And then that's really when obviously when Jay Z came in and kind of took over because they weren't in the game anymore, right? So it's kind of right. up to put people like Jay-Z and then obviously Nas and people like that. So Jay obviously benefited from it. And when MJ came into the game, obviously I think MJ's first uh, title was against Magic, right? In yep. 91. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. when really, okay, then it's like, okay, now Magic's pretty much kind of done. Now it's um, MJ's taking over the game. And really MJ didn't have anyone up on that level except for the Pistons now. But once MJ started winning, there's nobody in his path really that he couldn't stop. So that's when I compare it in, in that regard. So the Jordan, HIV, Jordan. no, that is not a success. I'm saying Bro. as the careers ended, <laughs> it was because of some it, other was, issues. But, that's what I'm saying. Amy, that was a good one, man. That was a good comparison. That's a good comparison. I like, comparison. That, I like that one. I, like I get that. that that's 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 Jordan, correct to Sterling, though. I got that from him. Except the yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you wasn't slowed on it at first. He tried to fight me on it. He tried to fight me I, on I, it. I didn't think about that one, but, <laughs> but um, y'all ever hear like people say, you know, they try to discredit Jordan for his his run or whatever, saying the dudes he was playing against was like substitute mm -hmm. teachers. And no, that, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, the people uh, say he's working against plumbers, you know, say office workers. Plumbers. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we, we've talked about this you know before. We, we've talked, yeah, but I mean. we've talked about this before. In my opinion, this is my opinion only, okay? And I've talked to both of them about it. I feel like there's probably about, in my opinion, 10 what you call in the nba about probably 10 to 12 a dozen superstars i mean superstars yeah 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 okay about 10 to 12 superstars back then jordan was playing magic um isaiah thomas i mean and a whole bunch of other role playing players that were really really good i mean just think about it and the reason that is is those guys were staying in college and coming out into the draft so you had all that talent coming from college and now these guys they don't do that. They say in one year, get their fame up, and then they hop out. So the people that are saying that don't know their basketball history. They haven't seen some of those games playing against. Like the Portland team that um, Jordan M played against, yeah, Jordan M was way, way better, but that team was good. The, pre oh, yeah. the previous hmm. season they had made it, um, I think, uh, had it, I think, well, who was it? Um, they got pretty far in the finals, but they didn't get to the finals. It's that more, team was good, man. It's more competitive now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, within, within. I mean, wait a minute. You think I it's mean, more competitive I mean, now? Yeah. 
no, 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 you could perceive that the league is more talented. I, I got to keep it real about that. Now, yeah, competition-wise, yeah, yeah. though, everybody wants to be best friends with each other, right? Oh, There's no, no yeah, more. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That, it ain't no more but, that. I'm strictly talent. It's more talent in the NBA now nah. than it was back nah. in nah. I would, I would nah. say, I would say athleticism. No, no. They're, they're more athletic thank you, thank you, now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank but as far as not, like, but not, but not pure skill, not pure skill, no, not skill. Absolutely I'm saying like not. just athleticism, no. the, the jumping and all that. But yeah, as far as actually yeah. the skill, I do agree. I, I'll say that I ain't gonna go that far on it, but I agree yeah, about that. Athleticism definitely because you got guys now, you know, seven footers, they shooting threes, you know. That's what I mean? basically like, what I'm talking about. And you know, that's, that's basically what I'm talking about. Serge Chewbacca, you know, he's shooting threes, but as you far got as the Joker, all that yeah. talent, overall talent, man. Well, I'm not gonna say day, I can't say I I can't I'm not gonna say it's more talent. It's more just, because from from yeah, yeah, it's more athleticism. Yeah, but from absolutely. like absolutely. from I agree with you on from that. where I you know, from you know, from what I know now, you know. From what I can remember, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm 36, you know. So I mean, it's like I'm like, well, shit, man. Like from what I remember, it's, it's more talent now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. All I dude. know. I, 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 I can know, see why I say I it though. I, I can see why. I say all it, I know though. is I'm not gonna sit here and act like I can't sit here and break down Jordan's numbers like I could uh, LeBron's numbers because I wasn't worried about what Jordan was doing. All I knew was. Michael Jordan. Everybody knew Michael Jordan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know how now dudes is like up oh, 50 averaging 50. Like, no, it wasn't nothing. It was it wasn't none of that. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey Sterling. Hey Sterling, check this out, bro. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. I, 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 I challenged him on this, right? One time when we had this conversation, um, and I I think two yeah. seasons ago. And I told him, I was like, yo, I would like to say that your New York Knicks, that team with uh uh Ewing. Uh, who mm -hmm. else was on that squad? Stark, 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 Stark. yeah, Oakley, yep. Oakley, I said, I would Free say, because he was telling me about so Golden State, uh, Golden State, I was like, I would like to say that I think your Knicks would kill Golden State. I was like, you know why? No. He was like, he was like, no, nah, who's going to stop him? Who's, I was like, bro, first of all, who's going to stop Ewing? Y'all too little. Dude, dude. Golden dudes State just way too KD little. will kill my Knicks, bro. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, with, with K, yeah, we talk about Golden State with KD. Yeah. We'll they, they will kill. They will kill. I don't know, bro. They will yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Nobody can go. Oh, yeah, they gonna kill him. They, they gonna kill more than KD. I'm, that's why I try to tell you, dude. He don't listen to me. No, no, nah, nah, yeah. Clay, I don't know, man. I don't know. You gonna have to, you gonna have to check KD. Who gonna check Clay? Who gonna check you in? Who gonna stop you down the middle? It don't matter. It don't matter. You know what? No, no, no. But Frank, think about can't... this way too. If you when had to say playing, without KD, think about when they was playing Braun in those finals, right? They couldn't stop Braun, but Braun wasn't good enough to beat him, right? Think about when exactly. Braun was with Cleveland in the team that he had. They Which they team? let Braun get it. They let Braun get his points, but they were still winning at the Who end of the day. Who did he have? You talking Ron about the had, same Cleveland that he left Miami for because all them years no, he been no, there? No, 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 no. I'm talking about when he's playing Golden State. Wait, I'm talking about Kyrie Irving and, and Kevin Love. I think he's talking Kyrie. about no, all them, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm just making sure because uh, we oh, know I that's the nah, reason he left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one, yeah, I'm saying when he went against Golden State, those Cleveland yeah. teams that made the finals, but, like, what was it, four years in a row or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. who's the who was their lineup? It was KD. They had a good, great lineup. KD, mm -hmm. Clay Thompson, yep. Steph Curry, mm -hmm. Draymond, Draymond Green, yep. and, and um, um, Andrew Bogut, I think, or McGee. Yeah, nah, 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 Bogut was gone. He he wasn't McGee, on that. Right? Yeah. McGee, yeah, McGee. Uh, well, here's a here's remember. a question for you then. Here's a question for you. That Lakers team with Shaq, Kobe, uh, who else was on that squad? Uh, uh, Jay Nice. Uh, Eric Fisher, Rick Fox. Rick Fox. That's what I'm going with. 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 Let's go, Sterling. Let's go, Sterling. Can't nobody fuck with Shaq. Nigga, you crazy? I'm sorry. Can I say that? Thank you. You good. You good. You good. You good. 
That LA gonna four, take baby. that. Hey, that team. Come was on, crazy, LA bro. gonna take that. That team was crazy. Kobe, come on. Nobody said come on. Kobe, man. Cause, cause look, Kobe, Kobe with the four? Come on. Nah. <laughs> hey, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's gonna come happen. On. Come gonna, on, come on now. Go to state gonna come out there smiling. Kobe ain't gonna be smiling that ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna matter how many times they shoot the ball. It ain't gonna matter. <laughs> Three, how many every minute? <laughs> Hey, what did Mike? Hey, what did Michael Jordan say in his uh, documentary when, when there was an All Star game and he was talking about Kobe? When there was an All Star game, he's like, "Hey, hey, that young boy gonna shoot that ball." Oh yeah, <laughs> Kobe gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot. Yeah, yeah. 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 gonna shoot. Yeah. Aim fire. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, yeah and, it's, and, it's just and just, that up. we had talked about the same yeah. thing, man. Same. That was thing. actually a and just, topic yeah. because I was dead set. I'm he like was mad. Matter of fact, my, we, we called Jay Nice and Jay Nice. Jay Nice agreed. Jay Nice like y'all. Of course he would agree. You know what I'm saying? My damn Knicks would have got would have got smashed by uh, it. It hurt me to even say that. By the damn, and, and just, by that damn Warriors squad. I mean, I guess for me, it all depends on what era to play in. Like if they play a New Age era, yeah, I can see that. But if they play back then. No, we playing back then rules. Golden, Golden State would have. Hey, you know, these, they, they these young tough. cats need to learn. We playing back then rules. We go, we hand checking. We, we bumping you. Mm-hmm. No, we ain't hell no, we, no, we, we ain't playing back, back then rules. rules. Physically, we killing you. Oh, yo, and that the, was my point. The yeah. only the, physically, they would kill them boys. Absolutely, they was it was real fights going on. That's like what I'm saying, it wasn't no no kicking out the game. What nobody getting fined. Nothing at it. Like hockey players. It's like let's go. Let's get it. And just real quick, you guys. My bad. Sorry, just real quick. Oh, my bad, y'all. Um, you guys brought up Kobe. Just a question: What what rapper would you guys think Kobe is? Man, somebody who has to be actually determined. a rapper. Yeah. He's like yeah. a combination of rappers, bro. He have to be Nip. He Jay Z, Biggie, Pac. I was about to say that. Say that. <laughs> That's Jay Z, yeah. Biggie, business minded. That's Jay Z, Biggie, Pac, Biggie, all in one. Just, you know, he's 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 just there. You know what I mean? He's he's very authentic. And then you know you mm-hmm. got uh, uh Pac because of his attitude. You know what I mean? Pac had the attitude like yo. I'm gonna come out here. I'm gonna do my thing. I don't care what you gotta think about. It. It's gonna be successful, and that's how Kobe took it, man. You know, hey, he's gonna go. He's gonna go out there. He's gonna do his thing. Mm, like yeah. And whether you guys like it or not, you know, he's gonna be successful with the team. You know, it was Kobe and win the championships, man. I'm gonna tell you what. What do y'all Kobe. think about Kobe and Lil Wayne? Wayne. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Mm. That's, that's a good one. Here. Well, well, Lil Wayne's well, dreads in my head. And I'm Lil, like, nah. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne is a little. <laughs> Lil Wayne is like, 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 like a gremlin, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's hard to get that. I can't unsee it. I, 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 I would keep him. I would keep him in the I, range I, I, of Jay, Biggie, and Pop. No, and I, and I respect. Yeah, yeah. Only reason I said Wayne for me um, was because I just think that throughout their careers. So, like, if you go back when Kobe started young and, and Little Wayne. It was kind of like nobody mm. really knew what they were going to become. But like Birdman told people, you know, he's going to run cash money. He's going to run cash right, money. And right, same right. thing with like Jerry West with the Lakers. He was like, yeah. everybody was killing him for drafting a young high school guard coming out. He was like, you know what? He's going to be one of the best players you guys are ever going to see. Right. And, and, and then I think that also as their careers progressed, people kind of forgot that both of them were very – very great at one point in time, probably were the best at, in their craft at one time. And people no, kind of no. overlap both of their careers with like Michael, LeBron, you know, Kobe's right in the middle. So people kind of try to throw Kobe out. Like, you know, he's he great in on that. Right. And comes to, Zoom breaking up a little bit. And say, oh, it's Drake. It's Drake. You know, Drake was that guy. And mm-hmm. I just think people kind of forget the two, and that's kind of how I view both of them, and that's why I kind of compare Kobe and Wayne, in my opinion. And Lil Wayne would tell you, too, you know, at that time, he was like, I'm the best rapper alive. And Kobe would tell you, like, look, I'm the best player out here. I don't care what you say. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm I'm down with that one, man. I'm down with that one. That was a good comparison. great comparison, man. This person and is for one reason and one reason only. Hold I'm going to say... Hold your, hold, your, hold, your, hold your breath, guys. Hold your breath. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, Lord. No, this one might be good. Too short. Kobe. See? See? Because he was unapologetic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get on the track. Like, yeah, I ain't going to say what he going to say on the track. But Kobe going to yeah. talk that talk. Come on, uh, now. It's that, it's that now, Cali Kobe connection right there. Talk that talk. Now, now, to your point... <laughs> 
Kobe sure. gonna talk that. So he gonna get on the joint. He gonna let that. He gonna he gonna say what he's gonna say. You Hold up, Co- Kobe made a little Kobe album gonna, too, and Kobe <laughs> gonna talk. He, 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 Kobe talk. Kobe made a little album too. He y'all. unapologetic. Hey, back in the day with him and Brandy. Was yeah, he had he had a little joint. Yeah, a little joint. But I'm gonna tell you when I knew Kobe was, I was like, yo, that that dude, he's a cold dude. I saw him on um like after he had been retired for maybe like maybe like two years or so, and when I saw him on um. I don't know, some guy on YouTube, he, he was sitting down and doing an interview with it, but they were talking about the relationship of him and him and Shaq. And Kobe has always said, you know, to everybody, hey, if Shaq would have just stayed in shape and done what he was supposed oh, to yeah. do, we would have won three more champions, you know, three, easy. four more championships. Easy. Because yeah, they were like, yo, um, you know, like, yo, did y'all ever, or is it true you guys don't like, he's like, no, we're cool. We talk all the time. He was like, he's like, we talk all the time. That's my guy. He says, but Shaq knows, he tells you. And he said, uh, <laughs> he said one time, he said when they were about, talking about the time they were about to fight and he said, you know what? I'm going to have to hit this big mom first. Cause he ain't hit me first, but I knew <laughs> he was a true dude. You know what I mean? Don't let the little, I speak fluent German and I play basketball overseas and my, you know, my parents are well to do. No, he was a real dude, and I you got to respect. He's you know, from Philly. A dude. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he from Philly. You got to so, <laughs> Yo, a dude telling you, yo, I'm swinging on Shaq first. That's some Philly <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I was he like, care. Shaq, Shaq could be 10 I, feet tall. He's like, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, Kobe, Kobe as much, he used to put my spurs out all the time, bro. Yo, I used to, ooh, ooh. bro. All right, dude. Hey, bro. Real quick, bro. Real quick. Oh, man. I know, I, I know, question. look, I know, I know where he's going with it, but go question. ahead. Go ahead. I know where he's going with it. You. Who had a better career, Kobe or Tim Duncan? Kobe. Oh, that's a good Tim one. Duncan. Kobe. Tim Duncan? Kobe. Tim Duncan? Kobe. Well, See, Kobe. it's well, not cutting well, dry like y'all see. Hold it's on, not hold cutting on. dry. I'm telling you. I'm a, I'm a, I mean, it's not easy. It's, it's we not, talking like, Mr. Here's Fundamental here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. See, look, look. It's like Steve and hey. Steve, Stevie, Stevie saying it at, as a sign of respect, but a lot of people used to clown on Tim because he they felt like uh, he doesn't do anything fancy. He lays up. He I was like, yo, but he making points though. It don't matter how you make the points. Consistency, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I'm like, yo. I was like, dude, he's like it. Every time he played, he was like top ten player, you know, you know, during the season. Tim Duncan, right? Yeah, Tim yeah. Duncan. I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah, top five, top five, here's there, top five, yeah. Every year, bro. Every year, every year, he, every year he was there. Every, every year, year he was there, yes, and sir. you know, he, he I love won. Kobe. I swear, I love Kobe. But yeah, but uh, but when you look at the career, I, I, I think I yeah. think what it is is. I think what it is is Kobe was yeah. his popularity was more yeah right yeah. than Tim was overseas. but when you look at the you know? numbers and you look at championships you know and stuff like that you know obviously they're you're gonna be neck. like eh they're neck and neck Tim right. Tim is a Tim Tim oh. is up there so fellas y'all y'all need to know the backstory on this because Sterling and I met back in 2016 in grad school right and we mm-hmm. I think honestly we we've been talking about this for like as long as we've known each other. Sterling is the biggest Kobe fan you will ever meet. I'm not mm-hmm. the biggest Kobe fan. We always debate you know, top me. five. Yeah, besides Jay Nice. We talk yeah, about top him. five all the time. And he <laughs> cannot get over the fact that I have Tim Duncan over Kobe Bryant in my top five. He can't yeah. get over it, bro. I mean, and I, I have... always said. Wait, time yeah. out. What? You said in your top. He over. He's over I got Kobe Duncan. Too. I got okay. Duncan okay. at five. Okay. I have okay. Kobe okay. at six. Okay, okay. In my yeah, list. Yeah, Kobe yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, really? come on now. Sir, if Kobe, I can tell you. Kobe, Kobe, rest come in peace, on, Kobe. Man. But if Kobe was alive, well, you would argue that because you have a Lakers fan. But, but, but here's the deal. Here's but you got to be realistic. It, it, realistically, is it is Kobe considered better because of popularity or is it because – what what is it? It'll be popularity. Because, because I think no one like, – Player. You know, I used to have to defend – I used to have to defend Tim all the time. Yeah. People were like – I was like, yo – I was like, are y'all crazy? You know what I'm saying? Like, have y'all looked at what he's, you know, what he's done? You know what I mean? But you would think that he came from, since he came from Wake Forest, more people here in North Carolina would be like, oh, I'm a Tim Duncan fan. Psh, no, nah. nobody, nobody, add, nobody, nobody did. Oh, I, mean, I just want to, oh, sorry. Go right ahead. Yep. Oh, you got it. You got no, it I just wanted to say something real quick, just that, um, let me ask you guys just real quick. You guys can answer this. So regards to Tim Duncan, even though, like, he was great, and I think, like, he's a top-ten player of all time, sometimes yeah. I think he was also part of the system. 
Now, for example, if you had to put Tim Duncan in Minnesota and replaced him with KG, would Tim Duncan been dominant in Minnesota? Would he been able to carry that team to the postseason? That's how I kind of look at Tim. Wherever. I don't know. I don't, I, I, you want to know something? You, you, you know, you I've seen know? him take over some games during the finals, you know, bro. Like, I've yeah. seen him step you want, up You want to know that. somebody that is a part of the system that gets used? Robert Ory. Now, he's oh. a part of it. Robert Ory got like <laughs> seven rings, right? That's exactly. Like he got, exactly. And he, that's what I'm saying. But he's he contributed. But he, he wasn't. Now, I'm going to tell you who's the bum of a system that's bummed mad rings. I already know who you're talking yeah. about. Go ahead and say his name. That daggone John, John Sally. Sally. Oh, man. <laughs> You wouldn't even know he was an NBA <laughs> champion if, he, if somebody didn't tell you. I said, how many? I was like, I was like, how many rings does John Sally had? I was like, this dude is bummed right. mad. You would not know unless somebody unless you research that. You nah. The only ones he gets, the only ones he gets credit for was when he was in Detroit. Anything after that, he bummed him. Exactly. Yeah, he bummed every single Definitely. one of them. Take him to the yeah. pawn shop because he bummed every Definitely. single one of them joints. <laughs> That's like that's like uh, uh, Dwight Howard and his ring he got from L.A. No, he bummed that. No, no, he did it. No, he did it. Dwight I, Howard mm, bummed that. He contributed. He contributed. Cause mm. Rob, bum juice. Because when y'all talking about Robert Horry, Horry if you go, if you think about every play, every team that Horry went to, you cannot think of that team going into the finals and Horry not hitting a game winning shot or killing him with the threes. That's what every team, the Lakers. Spurs, um, every Houston. team, Houston, every team he's been on. Stop gassing him. He's killing him. Dude, Stop gassing I, I'm him. Not. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> he's, he's been straight facts. Yo. He's good, but he, I mean, all them damn rings he got, I mean, he, he ain't, ain't really. Him, bro. He ain't bummed him, Joe. He ain't bummed him, but he ain't like. He contribute. Off the bench, bro. He, he, he might have held the door he, open. He, 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 was a, he was a key role player, man. Oh, I was coming off the bench, bro. Who's was I? Horry was killing him coming off the bench. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's true. Hey, yeah. I'm just telling you. He didn't watch ball like that, man. Hey, hey you know listen. I mean? Listen, my, my aunt actually, I, I don't know if I told you, Steve, but my aunt actually taught him in school, in high school. Robert Orr? Yeah. And she said when he played basketball, he, they used to use him the same way. he come up, like, you, they'd let their little start, and you think the team think they're up. Horry come off the bench. Kill him. All day long. That's what he does. How many rings Rick Fox got? Rick he's, has five. Three. He's got five. I got, got five? Three? No, 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 no. He got three. He has three. He's got three. He has three. He's got three. three. Yeah. Yeah, because he wasn't on that Pal Casol. Uh, yeah. I'm like, yo, I think he up there, too. I'm trying to think. I don't he think he bummed, bummed any. any. I don't think he bummed any. Now y'all got to be thinking of who he bummed played. rings. Huh? John he, Sally. John Sally John is the Sally king of bumming bummed rings, bro. He's the he's he's a. Diddy with the remixes of them <laughs> NBA. <laughs> yeah, all the videos. Oh, and all the kids. Hey, you know, you know, an yeah. NBA owner, Stevie, be that NBA owner, be like, hey, listen, um, yeah, if uh, if y'all players out there tired of uh, guys coming on your team, bumming rings, it's, it's exactly <laughs> me. Not giving, all, not giving on, their all. Come over. <laughs> come on over to Stevie Kicks. Come over, come over to three three six. <laughs> all right. You know, that's me exactly. You know what I mean? Will so, bum rings. Yeah. But how we can do Hey, but like fellas, so I mean, we we could talk about this probably all night going down the list, but um, yeah. we're gonna do a little quick transition. So to, to end the uh the night, um, we're gonna flip we're gonna talk about something different, but because this was like breaking news earlier today, uh one of my favorite players, one of my favorite players mm -hmm. I've seen when he was at Clemson, I'm talking about the quarterback, oh. Deshaun Watson, Houston, yeah. Texas quarterback. That's huge. Now, Maybe listen, Jordan. Listen, he they were four and twelve. They were god awful. But I'm, I'm gonna read y'all some of his numbers for this year, right? He mm -hmm. started and played every game. He had over yep. seventy percent completion percentage, forty eight hundred passing yards, thirty three touchdowns, and seven picks. And they were four and twelve. That's how That's bad terrible. the Houston Texans were. And if you guys have been paying attention, listen. Just today, he had it's breaking news. Adam Schefter reported it that. Deshaun Watson has been requesting a trade for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Now it came out today officially because they hired a new coach, black coach, David Culley from the Baltimore Ravens. And one funny thing about it is that we know Deshaun Watson felt that the Houston Texans organization didn't really care for black uh, people in management. So black head coach, black GM, Deshaun Watson had put his input when they um, fired Bill O'Brien. They got a new mm -hmm. GM. 
they actually right. Deshaun was working with them to say, okay, these are a list of some brothers I think could come in here and turn this around. They said that they heard him, but then they got this random white dude from New England. Nick, I think his yeah. name is Nick Casario, mm -hmm. right? So that was mm -hmm. kind of the last straw for Deshaun. So he wants out. And the crazy thing is they hire a black coach. And this black coach was the passing game coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, fellas, you tell me, how good was the Baltimore Ravens pass game this year? Terrible. It was horrible. Exactly. They didn't have one. It was terrible. It was horrible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> one. So how is that going to influence Deshaun Watson to stay just because, oh, we're going to dangle this carrot in front of your face and say, hey, we got a black head coach. You going to stay with us now? Deshaun is like, I'm gone, bro. I'm out of here. They went and hired the first black dude they seen. <laughs> they, <didn't, laughs> they said they're like, they didn't even know he's interviewing for the job. They just picked, they just called him, hey, you want the job? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. All right, come to, right. Come to Houston. Like, you could have had like Eric Bieniemy, Todd Bowles. I mean, yeah, come on now. Yeah. It makes it makes absolutely no sense because there are every single team that we're was in that championship game, um, you had um, black coaches that helped get them there. Tom Brady. Absolutely. Tom Brady, the first person he hugged uh, last week was his offensive coordinator. I think they hold staff. Byron Luck. Byron Luck. Byron Luck. Byron Luck. And, 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 and you know what? Shout out to the coach there in Tampa Bruce. Bay because Bruce. he's smart Bruce. enough to know that, hey, I put good people around me. That's going to give them opportunities, right, at mm -hmm. some point, hopefully, because I think Arians is like, yo, I put these people around me. Yep. That's going to give those guys opportunities, but it's going to make me look great, too. He got a little soul in too, though, Yeah, he do. Real. He be rocking the Kangos. Yeah. I be peeping him. <laughs> but, um, he got a little soul. But, but now here's the thing. Here's the other part, guys, that some people may not know. Your listening audience may not know. This is the same Houston Texans team that mm -hmm. during everything that was happening um, – with the, with the riots and the kneeling with Kaepernick, this is the same owner that said that we can't let basically the inmates run the asylum. This yep. is the same person, the same team that went and traded away their best wide receiver for a running back that they did absolutely nothing with. Um, they yeah, traded for uh, a bag of chips, man. That's what it was. Basically. Yeah. And so now your quarterback, <laughs> your quarterback um, who has worked hard, who's shown you his worth, shown you what he can do, he like, yo, you're not about to ruin my career, have me sitting here. You know what I'm saying? And and not winning. You know, so rumor has it, the last thing I heard was the teams that are interested in him, and believe it or not, they said the biggest one that he's looking at right now, supposedly, is the Carolina Panthers, yep. which mm. which yep. that would definitely be a great fit for him based on the type of offense that they're running here in Carolina now. If, okay. So that, that's if he huge. go to Carolina. That's like Cam. Woo! That's like Cam coming in all over again. Yeah, I'm about you to say. You know what I'm saying? If, if he go to Carolina, Carolina, even better yeah. though, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because he can. So, go fellas, I'm I'm gonna pose this question to y'all. So, as you mentioned, Carolina, I think besides Kansas City, maybe besides Buffalo, because they got Josh Allen, maybe like only like five teams I could think of who would not trade for him because their starting quarterback is young, up and coming. Mm -hmm. What team – so you mentioned Carolina. So do you have any other teams where you predict that he will go to? Mind you, he has a no-trade clause. So he's only going right. where he wants to go. He'll go to right. one or two places. Mm -hmm. right. Miami Dolphins yep. or the New York Jets. I agree. Those are, those are his top two. He I said agree. those are some of his top yeah, two. It is. Yep, uh, I agree. Yep. That's it. I'm going to tell you why. Because mm -hmm. he's, about to, he's about to get back up with your boy from Alabama. He's about to be throwing – you know what I'm saying? If, if it, for the, the, the dude, the dude, Tua is about to Tua gonna leave. I think Tua gonna leave. I think when and, mm. yeah. it's a it, it was something that I was listening to earlier. It made so much sense. Them, team, them two Tua, teams Tua. just make me just go. I Ugh. think Tua's gonna leave. I mean, what's dude, what's dude I can see it in Miami I mean, more so. Miami, yeah, absolutely. Miami. Because what they what they gonna have to do in order to get Deshaun Watson is trade their first round picks. I think they have mm -hmm. two first round picks. He's definitely worth got the three. Pick, they got a third a pick and an 18th they, pick. They gonna trade that. Okay. Yeah, so they yep. so they got two and they gotta trade at least two of. You know what I mean? In order to get two Deshaun gonna Watson. go. Yeah, he gone. Man, what was they talking <laughs> two about? Oh the my Jets. goodness! It's, it's, they might trade two so to, to Houston. They might keep him. Yeah. bring him yeah. to Houston. Yeah, Houston. Yeah, Houston. I think Houston to take him. I'm so. They need to do him like that. I'm so tight. The, the scenario I've seen, it made so much sense, man. Well, it, I mean, you think about it, man. <laughs> what team in NFL would not want Deshaun well, Watson? Exactly. You don't think – You so, know what I mean? So who's going to fill the spot in Drew Brees down there in New Orleans? Hey, they talk about um, question too. James might come in though. Oh, he's trash, man. Trash. Let him in. 
Famous Jameis. Famous Jameis. Come on, man. We eating W's out here. Don't be talking about my Florida State alum like that either, man. Come on. Yeah, I, I used to rock with Jameis, man, but he, he disappointed he me, got, bro. He, disappointed he had one me. too many crab legs. I was done after he started crab legs. Let's go right. Go right. After he stole the crab legs, I was done with him. Yeah. That. Come on. Yeah. yeah. yeah they, mentioned, they mentioned the old, the new old Saints man earlier. He needs to go to – that's where yeah. I would go. You know why? Because they still got wide receivers over there. They yeah, still defense, got a pretty decent man. defense. He can slide yeah. right in and run an, uh, run an offense very similar to um, his type of style of play. Right. That's where I would go. That's just my opinion. Or Carolina. Um, New Orleans. Uh, Jets in Miami. <laughs> New Orleans can yes. give her the, the, the white dude with the big-ass head that's played quarterback. What's his He's name? good, though, bro. <laughs> he ain't no big. Sam he Darnold. Good, 16. Good, he can't do 16 of uh, them things. I don't know. You never know. He can't yeah. do 16 All I games. know is he was lighting fools up. I exactly. seen that uh, he was lighting fools head. up when he was out. I'm going to tell you this, man. If you go to the yep. New Orleans Saints, he might as well go ahead and put the mental bowl next year. Nah. Book it. Book it. That's yeah. the move. If I'm the owner, if yeah. I'm the owner of the Saints. I can see it. If I'm the, if I'm the owner ah. of the Saints, I'm looking at, yo, how do we get him here? Right. Yep. You, and you got to make sure Breeze, tell Breeze, just, pack it up, man. Yeah, pack it up. That. Yeah. The Breeze, Saints could. Sean, Sean, Payton, Sean Payton is going to let me. <laughs> the he, Saints could. Sean Payton is going to let me run the things that I like to run, which is why Drew Breeze was so successful. Right. Right, yeah, and a lot of people it. forget, guys, and I, I remind people all the time. People forget where Drew Brees, Drew Brees was down there with the Chargers. Yeah, he was balling with mm. the Chargers. People forget that, and then when they drafted Rivers, they let him, ooh, they you know slept, what I'm saying? Ooh. They 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 got they got that's Brees the biggest, out of there. That's probably one of the biggest. That is one of the biggest mistakes. Yeah, it was in Chargers. Yeah, people yeah. forget history. that Drew played for Chargers. They always thought New Orleans, but that's exactly. one of the biggest you put Deshaun Watson history. there, bro. It, it's a wrap. It's, you, it's, it's, it will. Yeah. it's a wrap. Because think about it. Because the Bucks are in the Super Bowl right now. Like what? Yep. Anything could happen, bro. Mm -hmm. And who stopped oh. the Bucks from? You know, I mean, who stopped New Orleans yeah, from getting in, who getting there? Because the Bucks. Exactly. Yep. So you want to be competitive and you want to get back to the Super Bowl. Deshaun you need to go ahead and get Deshaun. Y'all low key just proved my point for the damn Super Bowl. See? Y'all just proved my point. Just saying. Y'all yep. all went with. Casey. I think. I think, fellas. I'm I think. We'll, tell y'all. Well, y'all yeah, didn't. Slay. I'm going to go to. <laughs> hey, nice. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey, we're going to get this money, baby. We're going to get this money, baby. We're going to get this money, baby. Let's get it. I'm about to I'm gonna say I'm going to say Miami on, on, on two things. Number one, they have a black head coach and a black GM. They're the only team that has that. Mm -hmm. Deshaun right. is down with that. And also, if we're being real, the draft picks, right? I don't know what draft picks the Saints. I mean, shoot, they might trade three first rounders but the dolphins Ooh. right now have the best package i believe to <laughs> offer right yeah. i think deshaun you go to you the go afc to um afc east which is still up for, i Josh. mean you got buffalo there but it's up right. for grabs. He ain't taking man. over the division, though. <laughs> he ain't gonna do that deshaun no, come in there I, I'm, I'm wrong with deshaun we over move josh Allen, though. Hey, but, but hey, that's fine that's fine <laughs> who your team I'm Who's your Eagles, team? bro? Eagles, man. Uh, bro, I ain't trash. You don't want to talk to me right now. Hey, bro, I can't talk about nothing. You know right now. I'm about to say, we ain't. Uh, uh, let's talk about Carson Wentz. Let's right talk about now. Carson Wentz. We don't let's talk about your boy Carson Wentz. Bro. He done, bro. He done to me. Listen. Oh, Carson he, oh, oh, he done. Oh, Carson Wentz. Bro, that's a rap. That, that's, that, that's Avery's boy. Nah, man. That's his boy. Look at Avery. Look at Avery. I gave up. I gave up. I gave up. I threw, I threw the way the wife, he just said that's his boy. I threw in the wife. He said that's his boy right there. <laughs> nah, bro. Look, look. I'm going to be your starter next my year, Eagles, bro. But... He's going to be your starter next year, unfortunately, he though, bro. Is. He is. The new coach yeah. they hired. They that's got the be a offensive long coordinator season. from the Colts because all the rumors were saying, one. okay, trade Wentz to Indy, get him back with Frank Wright, who we did mm -hmm. um. MVP, well, he didn't win the MVP, but he was on track to win MVP before he tore his leg up, hurt. right? Yeah. Frank Wright was running the offense. Frank Wright leaves, gets a head coaching gig. Turn The Colts have been pretty pretty relevant, pretty successful. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, we'll just pair Carson back with, with Frank Wright. And instead of that, they got Frank Wright Jr., the offensive coordinator, brought him to Philly and think that's going to solve all the problems. I think it's nah. bigger than just mechanics. I think – he just doesn't have it up here, y'all. He don't have it. It's mental. simple, y'all. Yeah, Leadership, the too. Eagles, the Eagles, from the very beginning, they let the wrong coach go. They should have yeah. they, they kept fucking Frank. Dougie Wright. P, man. Oh, well, I <laughs> you mean, know what I'm saying? 
I've well, been saying that for the longest. And soon as and man, I mean, he he's responsible for the um he did the, the Philly, the whole Philly special, all that he's responsible for. You know what I'm saying? However, like, though, because he was mastermind. OC, he wasn't gonna overtake the head coach though after they won the chip. They, no, I yeah, don't that's see what that I'm saying. Though. No, so but tough, you know, he, but... he he feeds Doug Peterson all. He he was the mastermind of all that. You know what You're I'm right. saying? I, 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 one thousand percent agree with and you. And of course, yeah. the head coach gets all the you know all the credit. Love, all, but he had a book. He wrote a book like, out too. He got paid yeah, off that Super Bowl. You know, he wrote a book called Fearless. I, I ain't seen was this smart. Shit. Yeah, Indy, Indy was smart. They was like, well, shit, we know, you know. But but the question is always, look at you now. <laughs> Yeah, now Dougie on the out. Well, she's uh, what's he ain't name? getting no head coaching gig. He ain't getting, he ain't getting no job man. nowhere else. Well, uh, well, when you, when, sit out. yeah, when you when he you just sit out, nobody gonna hire him though. I mean, nobody gonna hire him. He gonna say that. He 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 put it. You know, he put the nail in his own coffin. I mean, you know, you come on, bro. You are down by three against the you know Washington football team. You guys still got an opportunity to win it. You know, your rookie quarterback is in there balling. And you get in the playoffs. Hurts. And you, and you pull it. You pull him and say, you want to put this guy in to see what he's got? You already know what you got. Hey, I've been a backup for years. You would have drafted Hurts. You would have drafted Hurts if you thought this guy was the guy. Giants would have beat Tampa. I'm you know what I'm saying? Say that. I'm going to just say that. That's, that's why he's a third. We're going to leave that alone. Nah, man. We're going to leave that there. Yeah, nah, but the Giants... Nah. Giants would have beat Tampa. Hey, sorry, man. Frank hey. Frank would have went crazy. Watch the did, Giants but... the last six games of the season. Uh, hey, listen, I don't yeah, even have to. Well, y'all probably people didn't know. watch them. I'm sorry. People, people they, they 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 know, bro. Sorry. They they know. Hey, I'm, I'm in the NFC East, so I, I I I pay attention to all the teams in there. The, so I, the I, Giants, I, was, I saw them. The thing you about the them. Giants was a game like that, a game like that, that would have gave them an opportunity to move forward. They would have won that game. They they would have played because when they first when they played them earlier, they played. Pretty decent, but tough. you know the defense tough, wasn't yeah. solidified. The defense wasn't solidified. They got better and better. And Stevie actually brought up a point to me in the beginning of the season. So we were talking about the Giants. He was like, "Yo, bro, them first four games." He's like, "That was Joe Judge's preseason." And I was like, "Yo, I didn't yeah. think about that because he was cutting yeah, fools was after them first four games. I mean, I he was cutting there. fools. I'm after, yeah, season. I'm the first he two was weeks. Like, I'm like, what is he? I'm like, oh, okay. He was I cutting catch fools. On what he's doing? <laughs> he was cutting fools. I was like. He t- he got to get his shit the way. I mean, I'm sorry. You gotta, you know, I'm I you, y'all head coaches. Y'all been head coaches. He, no coach. He's he's trying you know to get. The, he's trying to hey. solidify it. They they bought in. They're gonna be okay. But what they need is a a, a superstar to put along with the running game. Mm-hmm. And and then once we get a superstar, legit number one receiver, because we got some nice ones. We need to trade. Man, we need to trade. Uh, what's his name, bro? The tight end. We, we, Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram, Ingram needs to go, bro. He's too inconsistent, Mister. I put the ball right here, and you keep dropping it in crucial times. If he, <laughs> he did against ball, the Eagles, one, he did yeah. against Philly. He's he he short short to beat man. us, Ooh, bro. Yep. He's but short on If he would, if he would have caught that lat, I forgot the one game, and that's we would have won. That's we would have been in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. He dropped uh, it. Yep. Yep. So, 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 fr- so, Frank, I got, I got two things for you. Number one, all the Giants fans that are mad that the Eagles. Um, Sat hurts. Y'all should have had a better record straight up. I'm that's, sorry. That's what I said. I can't. I, I, I said it. I, I'm yeah. just saying that. But also, you you think uh, Danny Dimes is, is the answer in New York? He's a future. He, he, he's inconsistent he, too. He can't hold on to the ball, man. He's he he's inconsistent. Too much. He in, he's inconsistent. But if you look at the second half of the season again, after those first that's, four games, he, that's when he started picking it up. Because mm-hmm. I think what 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 Danny's starting to see is someone someone got in his head and say, "Listen, bro, don't feel like you got to make a play every time." He's that type of player. So what you started seeing him do, go back and look at go back and look at it. He started throwing the ball away when he was under pressure. Um, you know, some of the interceptions that he got when he turned it over was bad route running. Evan Ingram, yep. tips. Um, mm-hmm. So I think the kid can play. Now his knock his knock out of college was always turning the ball over. That was his knock. He's got to clean that up. He's, he's, he's definitely got to clean it up. But what he can do, though, if they put the right people around him and get legit players, superstars, a, a receiver, Saquon comes back healthy, you got the backup running back, and then use those other guys as fillers, it could almost be sort of like that 2017. Because if you remember, Eli led the season one year in interceptions. Yep. Eli wasn't great. It wasn't that great. Wow. He'd get you there, but if you give him time, he'd kill you. So I, I think that's the thing for him. And then you got to look at the offensive line too. The offensive line is just starting to gel. There's a lot of things going on there that they've gotten better at, 
but they still need a legit wide receiver that you're going to be like, hey, we need to double him. The thing I learned to open about up the, running the game. thing I learned about being a Buffalo Bills fan is patience. And, That's it. And I know that, and this is this is going to be uh, Danny Dimes going his, his third year, right? Yeah. That third year jump is major. Yeah. From watching Josh Allen that first year yep. and that second year. Yep. Everybody like his accuracy, accuracy. This that third uh, third year this year yep. wasn't a problem. Yep. You know, so I'm hoping and he to took see, ownership uh, too of his problem. He yeah, took ownership, he took ownership of ownership. it. Yeah. The coaches got him better. I respect mad respect you for Josh Allen. I didn't see it like you just said. Uh -huh. Stephon Diggs. And you get it rolling. Yeah. Top five in the game. You get yeah. it rolling, man. <laughs> they'll they'll be okay. I don't expect you know. I don't expect that's uh, my NFC team. My my yeah, my my not. mine is tempered. I, I already know they they rebuild it, and eventually it'll get there. You know what I mean? You know they'll they'll get there. But I like the coach. I like what he's doing. They they're bought in. Defense is looking pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Um, you know the the question is. <laughs> What are the Cowboys going to do? That's what the uh, question. My uh, man, my man. Saying, I was about to say. Here we go. I was here waiting we go. for it. Last, like, I was waiting years. for it. Here Listen. Here we go. Here we now, go. if I remember correctly, the last time when you guys were on our show, we were talking yes, about this, and we'd like, are y'all going to sign Dak? So Dak got hurt since the last time we we, we came together. You know now, what, Frank? I pre we really on the same it. wavelength because I was about to transition See? right to Dak. Oh, I, I got it, bro. Look, look at Sterling. Yeah, hey. Hey. yeah. yeah. no, no, nah, nah. We gonna talk about it. We talking bro. about hey, it. Let's stop, go. stop, stop, hey. bro. Stop. Hey, stop. 40, hey, hey, listen. Y'all need to go ahead and tell Jerry to come up. We ain't giving no hometown discounts for Dak. Nah. He don't got hurt. Nah. He need his 40 million. We need the whole bag. He need 40 million, bro. We need the whole thing. You need 40 yeah. million. Call, call yeah. your mans. Call your mans. Yeah. No, you, need, you need 40 million. Because it has it was shown, it, it, it was proven <laughs> that yeah. without was, Dak, y'all are trash. They are not going that great, bro. Fast. Go They're on. going nowhere, man. Anytime my big toe was looking at me, I need my bag. I need the bag. My big toe was looking at me. And, and defense. My whole damn kneecap was facing me. <laughs> you like, know what I mean? <laughs> Defensively. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you know, they, they need to go ahead and sign that, you know, whatever it is. I don't know, five-year deal, whatever it is. Mil, but, yeah. but get that man 40-plus yeah, mil. Because if he, if, he if, if he comes back and everything's good, somebody else, I don't know if they're going to slap the franchise on him again or not, but somebody yeah. else is going to snatch him up and pay him what he wants. I mean, if they do, like New England. Hmm? Bruh, New England is just lurking. Bro. I feel like New England is, like, just lurking. Just... I just feel like they won't pay yeah. him, though. No, I don't yeah, really yeah. Want. They won't. No, nah, they ain't going to pay him. New England nah, will get – they'll trade for Matt Stafford. They'll trade for him, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. they'll Somebody do a little bit cheaper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think after paying Gilmore and him not performing, they ain't going yeah. that – because he was the last person they really, like, paid. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, nah, I ain't paying but no listen, more. Listen, no, no, Stevie, Stevie, don't ass. take no – Stevie, you taking heat off of Sterling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring, bring it back. back. Don't be taking no heat off of him. <laughs> Yeah, he was smiling. We waiting, bro. We waiting. All right, all right, all right. Look, Sterling, look. Hey, Sterling, you was back there smiling like, ooh, I'm glad we got off that Dallas I, 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 We ain't running from it. I was good. I was good. I was good. Um, but nah, nah but um, but nah, but well, like you guys said though, Jerry's gonna have to pay him, like we've seen this yeah. year. Like they really needed him. And I and I think the biggest mistake Dallas made, in my opinion, and you guys let me know what you think. Them signing Zeke too early, in my opinion, honestly hurt them. Not just yeah. Zeke, oh, but DeMar, but yeah. killed them. If you see, like, Tony Pollard came in and was pretty much doing the same thing, uh, you know, same with less thing, pay. Bro. Same thing. Yep. And it's like, you, you pay guys like DeMarcus Lawrence, you know, mm -hmm. hasn't shown up since his contract, doesn't get many sacks, things like that. You know, you let Byron – Jalen Smith, you let Byron Jones go when you could have kept him over those guys that we just mentioned, Jalen Smith and uh, DeMarcus right. Moore. So it's like, to me, you know, Dallas, I'll be honest, it's going to be another bad year for them. They got a bad head coach. You no, know, I was say, they got the wrong coach, bro. They what, got the wrong year? coach. Yeah. Here's a, here's a, sixth year. He's going to a sixth year. And y'all yeah. ain't yeah. paid this man yet. No. no, and they got for the cheap to begin with. To begin with. Come on, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Y'all, they was paying him like five hundred thousand dollars a year. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they, they, they should have. But, but honestly, I really want him to go. To be honest with you, I, I know that we. <laughs> No, he, 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 he wants him to go oh, to do better. Wants oh, to go, oh. go to a better team. Go to a better team. Yeah, get a paid. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he needs a better situation. Like, I know we talked about New Orleans. I wouldn't mind seeing him there. I don't think that That's would be a bad spot right for him. Now, I think that, that would be that, very interesting. 
That's um, very dangerous. You look I at jump Indy on that too. bandwagon. I think Indy, yeah. Philip it, Rivers retired it, too. Yeah. Indy, Indy's a possibility. Yep. So, you know, hopefully, you know, if they don't sign him back, I think they will franchise him if they don't come to a long term deal. They're not going to just let him walk. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. but, at thirty at thirty seven mil, by the way, if they franchise at thirty seven mil, but yeah, exactly. yeah. but at some point, isn't that going to cost you? Because you just paid him thirty seven yeah, mil last yeah. year. Yeah, thirty one yeah. mil last year. Thirty one. Price went up. Yeah, and six years, broken leg, black. Like, that's no, what, you Jerry, know. <laughs> Jerry, like, nah, I can't and, do that. That's man. At some point, don't think you know if he sits out. You know if you if let's say you say you know he sits out, dude just signed a deal with Anheuser Busch. For like yeah, four he years, did. Damn, yeah, he's paid. Dak, he, did. Yeah, he, did. he just he did. signed a deal with them, so it's not like he's hurting for money. But if you expect me to go out there, especially after what this just happened, oh, you got to pay me. You got to pay yeah, me because yeah. it ain't guaranteed. Yeah. I mean, Jerry, think Jerry, about, thinking in the back bro. of his mind, he's thinking about, dang, Carson Wentz tore his knee up, never the same. I don't uh-huh. know. Well, same you better draft pay. class. I mean, hey, I don't know. You got to take that know. chance. I'm saying, man, that's crazy. Because, you know, if I was a GM or owner, the first person I would pay is my quarterback. I would not pay my running back first because they don't have longevity mm-hmm. in the NFL, nope. man. The and running game is not even there the, like that the anymore. NFL, nah. The running back stands for not for long. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what it stands for. Yeah. Yep. You get a guy to plug and play. That's that's it. You know, yep. you know, and, and the dudes, to be quiet as kept, dudes started taking Zeke's reps. Zeke yeah. wouldn't get them reps anymore. Only Pollard. Yeah. I mean, I Zeke was I calling out. Zeke, Zeke would have a big a run for a first time. down. And He'd be like this. This is Zeke. Go out to the sideline. Yeah, right. I ain't see this in a he, long time. He looking, that. Oh, he, yeah. looking he looking Billy. a little. He was looking a little heavy too. He was looking a little punchy. He was, he was looking a little punchy. <laughs> he, be, he been eating a little he too much over there. He was in Cabo. Yeah, That's what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he <feels like> a, <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, he was eating a little bit too much. You know? Oh man, that's nuts. He tried to look like a dyke sometime. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> with his nose, nose ring and everything, yeah. the nose ring shirt up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, doesn't he have two nose like, piercings? Bro, walk in the locker room like that? Come on now, bro. Back in the day, you, <laughs> you, be, you better be glad that with me. Walk in the locker room because that's yes, exactly. I'd be like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay. Hey, bro, yeah, what you yeah. got on? It'll be some other words, <laughs> you know. It's crazy though. Oh man, exactly. But hey, fellas, we we gonna start wrapping it up now. Um. Shoot, bro. It, it, it's been a hell of a conversation, though. I knew I knew when Sterling oh, yeah. and I like, yeah, we're going to get y'all on the show. Yeah. All these topics, and we're going to have a hell of a time, a lot of fun. And uh, we got to salute y'all. Appreciate y'all again um, coming on our show. We love being on y'all's. Yeah. Y'all came to us showing us love. You know, we love your show as well. Yeah. Again, it's a 336 pull-up podcast. And I'm going to give y'all some time, too. Let, let the people know, let the listeners know, where can they find y'all at? Yeah, yeah. So um, you can follow us on Instagram at the 336 Pull Up Podcast. Um, you know, make sure you go out there. If you haven't checked us out, uh, you want to listen to our podcast, they drop every Monday at 12 a.m. So um, you can get that. You can also get us in video. So if you're a YouTube watcher, uh, this season, we one of the things we wanted to focus on was making sure that we put more content out there. COVID sort of held us back last year. But this year, we wanted to make sure we put more uh, visual content for, for those that are out there so you can see the faces behind the voices. Um, so you can follow us on YouTube at 336 Pull Up Podcast. Please like and subscribe. The more views we get, the better for us. Um, and then you can follow me as well, uh, Frank underscore Styles. Styles is spelled S-T-Y-L-Z on Instagram. And then uh, I'll let Stevie and uh, Jay Nice uh, give you uh, their their socials and stuff to get on to. Yeah, so you can also follow the 336 Pull Up Podcast on Facebook and uh, Stevie underscore kick 716 on Instagram. Yo, you can follow Jay, Jay Nice on, on the gram, like Stevie calls it. The gram. gram. <laughs> the gram. gram. You know, Jay underscore nice. Nice spell N Y C E 336. You can also hit me up on Twitter, Mr. M R J L Slater underscore 1914. And don't ask what that is. There you go with the conspiracy <laughs> again. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, fellas, once again, we appreciate it. And the fans and the listeners, we appreciate y'all. Y'all tune into another episode of the Savory Show. Make sure y'all searching us up. Savory spelled S A V E R Y. We're available on Instagram, Facebook, and now back and running with our YouTube page as well. Um, we appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again. Y'all right, take y'all. it easy. We're out. Oh.